Hey everybody, it's Alfred here. Uh, coming to you today with a Yapo. I've got a Yapo. I'm not going to try to imitate Scott over at RichCobb.com because I failed miserably one time. So, uh, <laughs> but this is from my good friend Kevin Green, uh, Louisiana Pipe Guy, 1965. And we've been doing a tobacco trade, so uh, this is my part that he sent me so let's get into it because I'm anxious to uh, to smell these tobaccos and uh, then get on to smoking them and doing some reviews of them too so let's get started let's get it open and uh, let's see let's use tonight my uh, Smith & Wesson Extreme Ops a great knife and let's just go through it like butter and see what we got. Oh, I can smell some of it already. Even though he's got it wrapped up pretty good. Uh, General, you want an envelope to play with? Let's get this closed back up. I'm going to have no mishaps with the knives. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think we've got more than I. <laughs> oh boy, let me get it all out. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin, you outdid yourself. Oh, we have a note. Let's see. If I can read this. Not that it's your writing, Kevin. It's my eyes that I gotta get to an eye doctor. Uh, say, so Alfred, hope you enjoy those three great MA blends. I think you will. I think you'll love them, excuse me. Uh, the Six Kings is their number one selling cherry. That's the one I'm really looking forward to. It's a cherry vanilla blend, and it's really, and it's, it is really something. The only is really the only cherry I keep on hand anymore. The old Joe Krantz is kind of dry. It came that way, but the something kicks is hard. The Wall Street is my all-time favorite from MAs. Ooh, I've been wanting to try Wall Street because I know you and Guy Witherspoon have been talking about that. And uh, as well as Guy here. Yeah. I, uh, I double wrapped the Miss Mud, Mississippi Mud and Cellophane, okay, to keep the Latakia from running, ruining those great aromatics. <laughs> it will, I know. Uh, let me know what you think of the Houdat. Is a blend my son brings me from New Orleans. Just a sample is all I had. God bless, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate it. Uh, and that's plenty of Houdat. I mean, that's a good sample. I can get some few bowls out of that. So, and, uh, let yeah, me put my note here. I won't lose it. Because I keep all my room notes that I get from uh, you guys. So so first we have uh, Don Juan's New Orleans Who Dat. Right there. And let's take a quick sniff here. Mmm. Ooh, I like that. Got a lot of uh, black Cavendish in it, it looks like to me. And, uh, which I love black Cavendish, but it has something in it I can't quite place. So I look forward to that. Uh huh, here we go. <laughs> the famed Wall Street. And, uh, let's see. Ooh. That smells rich and good. Mmm. 
Wow, I like that now. That's going to be a keeper, I'm afraid. Get the air out of it. Okay. And, all right, six kings is their M.A.'s Cherry Vanilla Blend. This is what I've been looking for. I have been looking for a good cherry for years. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good because uh, it doesn't have that medicine-y smell that I get with a lot of the cherry blends I've tried. It's very faint cherry. So, I can tell this is going to be a good one. This is probably going to be the first one I try. Let's see. And Blade... My eye again. Blade, blade Barf, I think. I'll let y'all read it. <laughs> and, uh, if y'all can, it keeps... There we go. And, uh... Mmm. I detect a little rum or something in that one. I'm not sure. Maybe a little bit of rum. It's, it's great looking tobacco. But I detect a little rum in there if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, but yeah, it's a great looking tobacco. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Let's see. Old Joe Krantz from uh, C&D. Mmm. I'm not sure what I'm picking up in that one. Hmm. I'll have to give this one a try. I'm not Whatever it is I'm picking up, I like it. And I think he said that was this is the one that was dry. And it does look dry. I mean, it looks like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> but you know, you never know. It may burn good. So okay, looking forward to that one too. Uh, here, we, okay, this you did get it wrapped up in cellophane. Let's see. Well, there's one layer. And two layers. Okay, this is the uh, Cornell and Deal Mississippi Mud. I've had some Cornell and Deal tobaccos before, they were pretty good. Um, I had one that was, it was interesting, I was, it was okay to me, it was, I think it was called Cross-Eyed Cricket, and, uh, it was okay, but yeah, this looks good, mmm, oh wow, this is, uh, oh, the earthiness, smokiness of it. And it is a dark, dark tobacco. And, uh, Cornell and Dill Mississippi Mud. I look forward to trying this, too. Wow. And, uh, thank you very much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. You went a little over from what we, uh, what I sent you, I think. I may have to owe you. I don't know. But, uh, those are the tobaccos from my tobacco trade, from my Yapo, with Kevin Green. So, uh, hope everyone is doing okay, and I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. And, uh, like I said earlier, I just got to get myself the eye doctor. I'm, I've been holding out, and I haven't been in a while, and I'm, I just suspect I'm, I have to have glasses. I just, I don't want that, but if I have to, I have to. It's a sign, I guess, of getting old. So, <laughs> I think I'm the last adult in the family to 
I have to have glasses. I said, I'm the holdout. And, uh, but I think I'm going to have to go ahead and break down and go and get them checked out. So, sometimes it gets hard to read things. So, uh, like I said, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. And, uh, we'll be seeing you. I am working on a, uh, a uh, cooking video that I just got through uh, filming the first part of. It's a crock pot video, so I'll film the rest of it tomorrow evening when I get ready to plate it up. And uh, just a little, you know, a little something I put together and everything, so y'all should enjoy it. So until next time later on, remember life is good, and so are smokers. Thanks a lot, Kevin.